it's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean? feeling about this we'll figure it out the way this fog just appears it's not natural can you two make an effort to keep up Can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two, we need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. for us what is that hey come and check this out what on earth is that not a clue Your name, sir. Um, Andrew. Andrew, and your name, lady. Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? 
This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, Sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew, somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you, you helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. Girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right.
You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so, if not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. Does this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos.
There's something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. What is it you want from me? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! What the hell are you? What do you want? Black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through, and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters.
Hold up. You hear that? Okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What's up? We should keep up. John won't like it if we lose each other. John? He means well, but he's in over his head. None of us have ever been through anything like this before. You have a point there. I can't stop thinking about that strange little girl we saw. I'm still disturbed by seeing that girl. Me too. She was... unsettling. We should catch up with John. Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there, you think that was really supernatural? And sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Great job. Glad you made it over. That was crazy back there. 
Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. You're kidding. We couldn't stand to be away from you for a second longer. He's right. We were both freaking out because we thought whatever was back in that hut might have eaten you. I think that's very unlikely. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. <laughs> 